Well, Zakai, I mean, I think you probably already had seen, you know, the support that Tennessee fans have in you with the NIL deal a couple weeks ago. But can you just put into words what it meant to you and your family oh, last everything. week with the, the GoFundMe? Oh, it meant everything. Uh, I didn't even expect the support to be that much. I, I know God, everybody had love for me, but after that, it, it just blew me and my family away. It's nothing but great words from Vaughn Nation. Would you talk a little bit about if you could explain what it's been like for you this year to play at an at a arena that's 18,000 average, packed a lot, and then to go undefeated at home? Just that whole experience, what that's been like for you? Oh, the best experience ever. I never even would think, well, a couple of years ago, I wouldn't think that I would be playing in this situation or be even sitting in this situation right now. So every night that I go out and play, whether I'm playing good or bad, I leave saying, oh, what a blessing. What a blessing it is to be able to play in front of all these people. Can you take us back to after the Auburn game, how you found out about the fire and kind of what that next couple days was like? Uh, my sister just called me and she had told me, uh, I think something going on at home. And once I called my mom and she showed me, flipped the camera and showed me, I was just like, like my eyes blew up. Like I didn't, I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what I should do. So it was just, I was just lost for words in that moment. What's it been like having your family now here with you and kind of being able to look out for them here in the aftermath of all of that? Oh, it's great because me and my mom, we've never really been separated like that. I've always been maybe two or three hours away on a uh, quick, quick stop away. So now that they're back again close to me, I uh, just love it. And it's a, a really good feeling. Zakai, uh, when you came on the court the other day, the crowd went crazy for you and you acknowledged them and waved. I mean, what was that moment like for you? What were the emotions behind that moment? Oh, it was a great moment because I just knew that what they put into me and how much how they feel about me. So once I got in the game, I didn't I didn't believe that everybody would do that. But once I got in the game, everybody started acknowledging me. I just felt like the love and the energy came right back into me. Like it just it just showed me how much they love me besides the GoFundMe and everything. And one more question, you know, just. It's been, I guess, a little over a week now. What has been, what has this week been like, you know, learning about the tragedy and then, you know, seeing all the support, just can you encapsulate it all? Uh, it's just, like I said before, it's just a really good feeling. We're just currently looking at our next step, but we just, it's just a good feeling. We're just staying blessed and feeling blessed of what everybody continues to do for us. When the GoFundMe went live, were you sitting there refreshing it a bunch, or did you just ignore it for a little bit and come back to it, or what? At first, I refreshed it like two or three times, and then I just let it sit. And somebody was like, have you seen it? And I was like, no. And I looked back, I was like, <clears throat> what? I was like, what the? This, this is at the goal already. It's like, yeah, I know, I told you. I was like, I was not expecting it to be like that. My eyes just lit up. So what was your reaction when you saw it exceed 350,000? Uh, <laughs> exactly how I'm sitting here right now. I was just like, is this real? I kept refreshing it, like swiping out the page. I was like, there's no way this is real right now. Like, it was, like words couldn't even explain how I was feeling. When you go through a tragedy like that, it's, it's, it's probably tough to focus. Has is, is this impacted your play at all, do you think? Uh, I felt like when it first happened, it affected me a little bit. Uh, emotionally, once I see my mother again, it affected me a little bit. But after the fact, I just had to lock back in and and get back to doing what I what I do and what my team needs me to do. You just said that someone kind of alerted you to how much had been raised and told you that you know I t told you it was going to be like that. You know, who was that and what had they kind of told you before? Uh, I feel like it was it was everybody. It was just saying like oh you, like uh, don't worry, everybody's going to have it back. Everybody's going to have it back. So once I saw that that last number, I was like, wow. It was maybe like 30 minutes later, I looked back at it, I was like, I was like, this is, this is real right now? Like, this, everybody's really doing this? And I was just like, lost for words. Like, I just walked around with a big smile, but it was just, I was just lost for words. Even right now, I still am. A little less serious question, but have you and Kennedy played a whole lot of one-on-one -on -one since uh, you got here and who typically wins those games? Uh, we haven't really played one-on-one, -on -one, actually. Like, usually it's five on five. We battling each other in practice, but usually it's he go he gets he gets the best of me one day. I get the best of him, but it's just it's always battles. It's always a battle that I always. But he's a he's a really good player. He's a great player. Zakai, I know 
during travel ball, you, you play a ton of games in the summer, high school, you have a postseason. But what's the conference grind been like just physically for you to adjust to as a freshman? And how beneficial do you think these five days off are before you play again? Uh, it's really good because we we know that we need to rest our bodies. We know that we had some we got some really big games coming up, some really important games, and it's the it's money time right now. March is the biggest time of the year, so we know we're gonna need our bodies. We should rest our bodies and just stay locked in. Did you ever envision yourself becoming a fan favorite like you are right now? No, I had no idea it would be like this at all. And even even now, people tell me, "Oh yeah, you're the fan favorite." I'd be like, "No, I am not." Like, and it's. It's just crazy walking outside and now people knowing who you are. It's, it's a different feeling. I don't want to say it's weird, but it's just a, a different feeling that I still can't believe most of the time. Like, every, people ask me for pictures and autographs. I'd be like, lost for words. Like, all right, I'll give you one. After I leave, I'll look at my mom like, did I just really do that? It would just be a, a different feeling. But I, I never thought it would be like that. Coach Barnes likes to talk about Kennedy having a six foot seven wingspan. How does that affect the way that that he is to go against when he's playing defense? I mean, what does that that do that makes him hard to deal with? Oh man, it's, it makes it harder to pass the ball because he has really active hands. He he wants he likes to get steals. So for him just to go like this and put his arms out wide is just and he doesn't even have to move his arms. All he has to do is put his arms up, and it's, it makes it that much harder to pass the ball. So that that plays a really big part. We 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 praise us. Like him about how high his hands are and how many deflections and steals he gets. That and that six seven wingspan really plays a huge part in it. What's your wingspan? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Did you grow up thinking about the playing in the NCAA tournament, playing in the, in March, or had I mean you were just looking for offers? Did your mind ever go that far? Uh, I always watched it with my cousins, my uncles. We always watched it uh, growing up. The NCAA tournament where the, it was the Final Four. I never really. Watched it all the way through. I always used to be like, like a big, just a big fan of it, of basketball. So now that I'm getting the chance to play it, my mother asked me yesterday, "How do I feel?" I was like, "Man, I, I don't even know. Like, I feel like, when, I feel like, like once I'm on the court, I'll just be like, all right, now I'm here. I, there's no turning back. So, but it's just a loss for words when it comes to that. How do you feel like two things? One, how do you feel like Kennedy Chandler has helped you? How do you feel like you have helped Kennedy Chandler? Uh, I think we helped each other with our speed because I'm not sure if he has guarded somebody as quick as I am, but I definitely have never guarded anybody as fast as he is. So he has helped me in a tremendous way. Nobody has ever put that much pressure on me coming down a hill. So when we in practice, I would be thinking like, oh my God, he got this, this dude, is, like, he, he's a really hard player to guard in transition. So just for him to run at me full speed is one of the hardest players I've got to guard in that situation, seriously. We've asked your reaction to the GoFundMe. What was your mom's reaction when she saw how much was raised? Uh, she was just, she was just shocked and overwhelmed, and she was just so thankful and blessed. Like she didn't, she didn't like, she just didn't want to say, okay, I expected this, but like she was like, was so overwhelmed. She didn't have words. She would call me every five minutes crying. Every five minutes. <laughs> no, nah, not with her. One time away from her, but not with her. Your, your mom's talked about potentially moving down here before. Yeah. Is that more likely now? Is that something that y'all are still exploring? Uh, she, we're exploring it right now, but we don't, we don't have the full information to give out there. We don't know yet what we're exactly going to do, but uh, it's definitely looking towards it. Definitely looking towards it. Do you notice at any point late in the season playing here that you would get ovations just for checking in? No. You didn't hear that? One time, well, it happened one time before uh, our last game, but I was like, everybody, we all looked around, I looked at, I think Josiah, I was like, what are they clapping for? And it was just, it was just a crazy moment. I, but that, when stuff like that happens, even if it's not for me, for my teammates, uh, that, that brings my energy up. That makes me happier. Zakai, I know you said in the GoFundMe post that whatever extra money outside of the losses that you all needed, uh, you donate to charity. Have you given any thought what charity you want to donate to? Uh, as of right now, we haven't really thought of what charity, but we're definitely uh, looking into that because though that like that is a big part of our, our lives. So we're definitely looking into it, but we haven't decided exactly which charities. All right, Scott, thank you very much. Bye. Bye.